I would now like to explain the different display elements and functions of the UT9000 receiver using an example. The display elements of the UT9000 vary depending on the selected locating mode. In the current example, the display elements in the locating mode line are explained with the signal behavior maximum narrow. The keys of the receiver are partly doubled assigned. Depending on whether the key is pressed briefly or for two seconds, the different functions are executed. Switch on the receiver by pressing the speaker key for two seconds. The central element of the display is a compass display of the line position. The directional arrows in the compass display indicate where the line is located. As larger the arrow, as further away the line is in the direction indicated. If a diamond appears in the display, you are on the line. To the left of the compass, you will see two numerical values. The upper level value indicates the field strength in percent. The lower value shows the gain in decibels. You can adjust the gain by pressing the arrow keys. To the right of the compass, you will also see two numerical values. The upper numerical value indicates the depth of the line in centimeters or feet. The lower value indicates the current in the line in milliamps. The two readings can only be taken when the diamond appears in the compass. The percentage field strength is shown graphically at the top of the display. The bar graph below it indicates the gain. In the lower part of the display, you see a toolbar. This shows the current settings and status of the receiver by means of icons. The battery status of the UT9000 is displayed on the left side of the toolbar. Beside, you can see two opposite arrows. They show whether the direction recognition is active. The direction recognition is only available for frequencies below 10 kHz. To the right of it, you will see a loudspeaker symbol. It indicates the volume of the acoustic signal output. Change the volume with a loudspeaker key. To the right of the loudspeaker symbol, the selected location mode is displayed. By pressing the locate mode key, you can choose between the different location modes. Line, Auto, Current, Sound and Radio. The signal behavior is displayed to the right of the location mode. This tells you how the signal is behaving over the line you are locating. By pressing the signal behavior key, you can choose between maximum narrow, maximum wide and minimum. On the right side of the toolbar, the receiving frequency is displayed. It is displayed in kilohertz and below that in hertz. You can change the receiving frequency by pressing the frequency key. You will find basic setting options for your UT9000 in the device menu. Press the signal behavior key for two seconds to enter the device menu. There you will find various submenus. Use the arrow keys to navigate through the device menu. The selected submenu is applied inverse. You can select submenus with a frequency key. In the submenu frequencies, you can select which reception frequencies are available in the main screen. The symbols behind the frequencies show for which location mode the frequencies can be selected. You can access the previous menu by pressing the mode key. In the settings submenu, you can set the language of the unit. You can change the unit for depth measurement. You can turn the backlight on or off. You can select a time after which the receiver automatically turns off if you do not press any key. Finally, you can switch to the submenu for connecting the receiver to a generator. In the submenu options, 
You can adjust the acoustic signal output. You can make settings for amplification. You can switch the direction arrows off and on. You can enable or disable automatic depth measurement. You can turn the offset depth on or off. The System Info submenu displays various information about the receiver. Under the submenu Ambient Noise, you can start a function that detects existing fields and thus allows you to draw conclusions about the optimal locating frequency. I would now like to show you how to connect a generator to a receiver in preparation for the practical parts. Switch on the UT9012 generator. Navigate to the submenu Communications. Select the Link RX menu item. The generator is now waiting for a receiver to connect to it. Now switch on the UT9000 receiver. Switch to the submenu Communication. Select the menu item Link TX. A message will appear telling you to switch on the generator. Since the generator is already switched on, the message can be acknowledged by pressing any key. The UT9000 will now search for generators. Found generators are displayed in a list. Compare the found generator with the serial number of your generator. You will find the serial number of the generator on the left side of the serial number plate. Select your generator in the list and confirm your selection with the frequency key. The two units will now connect. The UT9000 will confirm when a successful connection has been established. A symbol in the display shows if the generator and the receiver are connected. Once connected, the units will automatically reconnect after each power-up. The connected generator can be remote controlled by the UT9000 receiver. If you change the receiving frequency on the UT9000, the generator automatically changes the transmitting frequency. The only requirement is that the selected frequencies are programmed in both the receiver and the generator. For further setting options of the generator via the receiver, select the TX Control submenu in the Device menu. The display of the generator is now shown on the display of the receiver. The bar display of the output power is flashing. You can increase the output power of the generator by pressing the frequency key on the receiver. Use the down arrow key on the receiver to switch to the output of the generator. If a UT9000 twin cable set is connected, you can choose whether the signal is sent to the red output terminal or to the white output terminal. You can choose between the two outputs with the frequency key. The UT9000 receiver and the UT9012 generator are now ready for daily use.